I, it, it was not until I was looking at a map of like, I'm in London, what's a fun close city? Because nothing had been planned. What's a fun close city nearby? Everything. Everything is the answer. Mm -hmm. But when I looked over and was like, oh yeah, just right across the water is Denmark. Only then was I like, oh, that's why Shakespeare wrote about Danes and stuff. They're in, close uh, together. In Midsummer Night's Dream. In everything. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, oh, that's, there's a relationship that the English have to the Danish that I, like, I must have known at some point in my life that those countries were so close to each other. It was not a fact that stayed with me at all. And well, they are very close together. They were just like a little straight apart almost. And so, yes, those two things. And then when you hear like Welsh, for example, mm -hmm. it sounds very Scandinavian kind of. It's, oh, really? It sounds more like Swedish or Danish. Certainly or, the spellings are just a mess of Welsh bonkers. names. You know? Bonkers, yeah. Um, and oh, by yeah. the way, the English are not the only ones who have a relationship with the Danish. I have one and my cardiologist is not happy. I'm telling you. If Your my, father would be father rolling on the floor would be right now. Hooten. Yes. Hooten. <laughs> um, no, I like this Bruce Valanche stuff. I think it's really going <laughs> to catch on. It's coming back. I told you I watched that Paul Lind uh, yes, Halloween special yes. and it was on fire with those kind of jokes. <laughs> one every few minutes.